How's it going, everyone? I have something pretty cool to show you here today. Behind me is a machine that can make redstone boxes. And not just that, but any kind of kit you want to make to have with you in your ender chest. I guarantee you this will elevate your gameplay. So let's see how it works. Whoops. Let's see how it works here. In this chest, we have 27 boxes. I'm just going to grab those and put them right here. And then we're just going to get these shears and fill up our hot bar, hot bar with it. And then we're going to get our magical chest full of 27 boxes. And we're just going to grab it like so. And we're going to put these boxes in order in this chest minecart. So right to left. Just like that. And then we're just going to send it along. And just like that, all the boxes are in place, in the right order. How amazing is that? They're just going to empty into these droppers. And while it does that, I just want to explain to you guys why I think this concept is worth it and practical for any survival players out there. The concept here is about organization and control. The redstone is a tool that you can use to accomplish cool things in Minecraft. And you don't need to rely on fancy glitches or mechanics to do it. These can be hard to understand or sometimes may not even work in some versions or in some paper servers, modded servers, you never know. But this is just something that always works. And it works from 1.17 forwards because of powder snow. And powder snow is an amazing block. And you're going to see how what it does in just a second. So I'm just going to get in this minecart. Click this note block and watch it do its thing. It's just going to spit items onto the powder snow and they're going to lose all their momentum. And now it just takes a few seconds. But just pay attention to the inventory. It fills up in the correct order, too. Isn't that the best thing? So now, this box is right here. All I have to do is that. And then, let's do it again. And so, if I want to empty up all these boxes, all these droppers, I'm just going to have to do this a few times. So, we're just going to do a little skip. Yep, I do believe this is the last one. Let's check to make sure. Yep, it sure is. And now all I have to do is, well, just push this button. And look at that. That is all the boxes with items in the right order, just all neatly packed for you, ready to go. Not only can you make these for yourself, but you can sell these to your friends. You're going to get loads of diamonds. You're going to get netherite from your friends. You're going to get elytras from your friends. You can sell kits like these to people in your server. Or you can make a bunch of them and have a storage system for them and have a whole ender chest storage ready to go. Isn't that so cool? And this only took me a few minutes to do. It only took me a few minutes to finish all these boxes. So these boxes here are now all empty. And so now we're just going to break them. Just like that, and now all these boxes are there, and now we're just going to flush them out. And, well, this is going to send me along automatically, as soon as it's done. And then, we just pick up the empty boxes. It's that simple. And now... Now the system is empty again and ready for a new batch of kits. So yeah, that is my concept. 
Now, there are limitations to it. You can't put 16 stackable items in here because it'll give you four stacks of 16 stackable items unless you want that. But then you'd have to put more, more boxes in here and activate it again. So if you want to put 16 stackable items or unstackable items in your kits, what you need to do is you need to use this unstackable priest order right here. So if you put 27 empty boxes in here instead and activate this one, now, let me see. Let's say I want to put powder snow. I want to put powder snow bucket in all of my boxes. So let's say I had 27 of these in a box. And so what this machine does is you put one item in and the box will just break. Just like that and a new one shows up. And all these boxes are being filtered into the system, into the dispenser here. And so now I'm just gonna keep doing it. And now all those are ready. They all have an unstackable item in them. And now, if I wanted to make a new kit, they would have that powder snow in them. And that's how you put unstackables or 16 stacks in them. It's a little bit more work to do, but I, I don't think it's that much. In order for it to be completely reliable, um, slot preserving, so all the items are always in the right order with this machine. And that's what really matters, I think. That's what really matters. They're always in the right order. So, yeah, that is my machine. I hope that you can find it useful. I will give examples of other types of kits that you can be making and putting in a storage system or putting in your ender chests and just having a bunch of boxes like that. You can just carry it along with you at all your different projects. And yeah, if you found this enjoyable or if you found this helpful in any way, make sure to hit the like button down below. There will be a schematic of this available in the description. Just make sure to look and it'll be there. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much, everyone. And have a good one.